The US President Joe Biden will travel to New Delhi from the 7th of September to the 10th of September. Take a look at the details. <clears throat> Sorry to keep you waiting a few minutes. Today, the court once again walked away from decades of press. The US President will be in New Delhi from the 7th to the 10th of September to attend the G20 summit and participate in bilateral meetings with a range of leaders. But what's dominating his agenda? Well, Joe Biden will urge reforms to the IMF and World Bank that will better serve developing country needs at the G20 summit in New Delhi next month, the White House has emphasized. The White House National Security Advisor has said that the two need to offer a better alternative for development support and financing to what he called China's coercive and unsustainable lending through Beijing's Belt and Road Initiative. At the G20, though, Joe Biden will really focus a lot of his energy while he is in New Delhi on the modernization of the multilateral development banks, including the World Bank and the IMF, is what Jake Sullivan has emphasized. The United States is also expected to push proposals in New Delhi that will increase the World Bank and IMF lending power by some $200 billion. But the timing of these comments cannot be ignored. The White House National Security Advisor made these comments as the BRICS bloc is holding their own summit in South Africa as we speak. And as you are aware, the BRICS nations represent a quarter of the global economy and interest in joining the club is surging. Meanwhile, Delhi's Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has approved a proposal for the closure of all offices and commercial establishments in the Union Territory. As per reports, all private and Delhi government offices will remain closed from the 8th of September till the 10th of September, while banks and commercial establishments, including markets, in New Delhi will be shut during these three days. Schools and colleges will also remain shut during this time as Delhi holds the G20 Leaders Summit.